Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the ski starts from rest at E and travels down the ramp. If the friction and air resistance can be neglected, determine his speed VB when he reaches point B. Also compute the distance S to where he strikes the ground at C. If he makes the jump traveling horizontally at B, neglect his size and his mass is 70 kg. So we have to find the velocity at B and we have to find the distance he travels along this inclined surface which is making 30 degree with the horizontal. So to find the velocity at B we can apply the law of conservation of energy which says that the kinetic energy at A plus the gravitational potential energy or we can say that the potential energy is at A that will be equal to the kinetic energy at B plus the potential energies at B. So at A the velocity is 0, the kinetic energy is 0, he starts from rest. So the kinetic energy at point A is 0 and let's say that we define our datum line at B. Let's say that this is my datum line for the gravitational potential energy. So above the datum line the gravitational potential energy is considered as positive and below the datum line the gravitational potential energy is considered as negative. So we know that the gravitational potential energy at A will be equal to the weight times H and weight is 70 multiplied by 9.81 and the height from the datum line. So the height from the datum line is 50 minus 4, right? So the point A is at a distance of 46 meters from this point B. So we have to multiply this with 46. And this is the positive energy since it is the uh, the H is point A is above the datum line. So this is the gravitational potential energy at point A. So we have to write plus 70 into 9.81 into 46. And the kinetic energy at B, so that is 1 divided by 2, mass is 70. And the velocity at point B is Vb, which is required. And the gravitational potential energy at B is 0 since the scale is at datum and at datum the gravitational potential energy is always 0. So this is plus 0. So we are left with this equation and if we divide both sides of equation by 70 by mass so we will get the equation like this. So Vb we can write that Vb square is equal to 2 times if we cross multiply both sides of equation uh, or if we multiply both sides of equation by 2, so we will have 2 times 9.81 into 46 and if we take the square root that will give us the velocity at point B. So the velocity at point B is uh, 2 into 9.81 into 46. This gives us 30.04. So the, the velocity at point B is 30.04 meter per second. So this is the velocity at point B which was required. Then we have to find the distance S. So it is said that the, ski, the if he makes the jump traveling horizontally at B. So the, the VB is acting in the horizontal direction at B. So VB is in the horizontal direction. So the sense, since the skier is following the projectile motion, so we have to apply the uh, projectile motion equation. So for that we have to consider uh, our coordinate system at point B. So this is our origin, this is our positive x direction, this is our positive y direction. So the initial location of the skier is represented by x naught and y naught. And x naught and y naught both are zero since at B the skier is at origin. This is our reference coordinate system. And when the skier is at point C, the coordinates are let's say x and y. So we have to write this x and y in terms of this s. So from the origin, if I draw a line like this, so from the origin this point c is at a distance of, this distance will be, if this is s and if this angle is 30, so we can say that this angle is also 30 degrees. So then from here to here this distance is, this distance is s cos of 30. So we can write that this is s cos of 30 and similarly uh, this this length will be uh, or we can say that this distance will be s sine of this is s 
sine of 30. So now the from the origin the x coordinate uh, of the point C is we can write that that is s cos of 30 that is s cos of 30 and similarly the y coordinate of this point C will be this 4 meters plus 4 meters plus this distance. So this distance is how much this distance is s sine of 30 or sine of 30 is 0 0.5 so that will be this is 0 0.5 5s so this is 4 plus 0.5s so this is 4 plus 0.5s and as we can see that this is our origin and the positive y is in the above direction so that will be the minus coordinate so that will be minus 4 plus 0.5 so these are the coordinates of point c according to that uh, origin so this is x and this is y now we have to consider for the projectile motion if I consider the horizontal motion and the horizontal motion in this direction the horizontal motion is considered as positive. So we can write that x is equal to x naught the v b x the horizontal component of the velocity at b times t plus half a x into t square. So since in the projectile motion the horizontal component of the velocity remains constant so there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction so this will become 0 and the x the x coordinate of the of the skier at point c is this this is the final pos position in the x in the horizontal this is s cos of 30 and let me write that cos of 30 is cos of 30 is 0 0.866 so this is 0 0.866 s and x naught is 0 x naught is 0 and v b x is equal to v b since the velocity remains horizontal so that is v b x and v b is 30.04 so this is 30.04 into t now from this equation we can write t in terms of s so that is uh, 0 0.866 divided by 30.04 this gives us t equals to we can write that t equals to 0 0.0288 s so now we can apply the vertic for equation for the vertical motion and this is our positive y direction this is our positive y direction so we can write that y equals to y naught plus vby into t plus half an acceleration in the y into t square so now the the final y coordinate of the skier at point c is this this is minus 4 plus 0 0.5 s and that is equal to y naught is 0 since the initial position of the skier at point b is 0 0 that is the 0 coordinates so this is 0 and at point B the velocity direction is horizontal so the vertical component of the velocity is 0 there is no component of the velocity in the y direction so this is also 0 and this is 1 divided by 2 and the positive velocity direction is in the upward direction and the skier is moving in the downward direction so the velocity is increasing uh, in the negative sense in the downward direction so the acceleration is negative as well in the downward direction so we will write that this is minus 9.81 t square so now we are left with this equation we can write this is uh, minus I, I multiply it like this minus sine will cancel out so this is 4 plus 0.5 s equals to 1 divided by 2 into 9.81 into t square or we can write this equation if i bring these two terms to the other side of the equation so they will become negative so we will have the equation like this 0 0.5 into s minus 0 0.4 and this is equal to 0 or we can say that this whole equation is equal to 0 like this now if i multiply this whole equation with 2 so this 2 will cancel out we will have 9.81 t square then we will multiply this 0 0.5 with 2 so that will become 1s and then this will become 
4 into 2 so that will become 8 so that is minus 8 and this is equal to 0 now we can write this as 9.81 and then this t square so so from here we can write that t square so that t square will be t square will be equal to 0 0.02 the square of this 0 0.0288 square so that is 8.29 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. So that is 8.29 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 s square. So now that is we can write this as 8.29 into 10 raised to the power minus 4 into s square minus s and minus 8 and this is equal to 0. So now if I multiply that answer, this answer with 9.81. So that is 8.136 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this is 8.136 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 into s square. Now this is a quadratic equation in terms of s. We can solve it using that equation function. This is 5, 3. So this is 8.136 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. So this is the coefficient of s square. Then the coefficient of s is minus 1. And the constant is minus 8. So this gives us 130. So one value of s is 130 and the other one is negative, right? So we will take that positive value. This s is 130, 130.45 meters. So this is that distance s which he travels from this point b along this incline. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if it helps in your learning. Also like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.